Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about abdominal aortic aneurysms. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash AAA or in the vascular surgery section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Abdominal aortic aneurysms, or AAA, refer to dilation of the abdominal aorta with a diameter of more than 3 cm. Often the first time patients become aware that they have an aneurysm is when it ruptures, causing life-threatening bleeding into the abdominal cavity. The mortality of a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm is around 80%, so very high. Let's talk about the risk factors. Men are affected significantly more often and at a younger age than women. Other risk factors include increased age, smoking, hypertension or high blood pressure, family history and existing cardiovascular disease. Let's talk about screening. All men in England are offered a screening ultrasound scan at 65 years of age to detect an asymptomatic abdominal aortic aneurysm. Early detection of an abdominal aortic aneurysm means preventative measures can stop it from expanding further or rupturing. Women are not routinely offered screening as they're much lower risk. The NICE guidelines from 2020 say a routine ultrasound scan can be considered in women aged over 70 with risk factors such as existing cardiovascular disease, COPD, family history, hypertension, hyperlipidemia or smoking. Patients with an aortic diameter above 3 cm are referred to the vascular team and they're referred urgently if it's more than 5.5 cm. Let's talk about the presentation. Most patients with an abdominal aortic aneurysm are asymptomatic. They won't know that they've got an abdominal aortic aneurysm. It may be discovered on routine screening or they become aware of it when it ruptures. Other ways it can present include non-specific abdominal pain, a pulsatile and expansile mass in the abdomen when palpated with both hands, or as an incidental finding on an abdominal x-ray, ultrasound or CT scan. Let's talk about the diagnosis. Ultrasound is the usual initial investigation for establishing the diagnosis. A CT angiogram gives a more detailed picture of the aneurysm and it helps guide elective surgery to repair the aneurysm. Next let's talk about the classification. The severity of an abdominal aortic aneurysm depends on the diameter. Normal is less than 3 cm. A small aneurysm is 3 to 4.4 cm. A medium aneurysm is 4.5 to 5.4 cm and a large aneurysm is above 5.5 cm. When an abdominal aortic aneurysm is diagnosed, the mainstay of management is to prevent it progressing and getting larger and reduce the risk of rupturing. The risk of progression can be reduced by treating reversible risk factors such as stopping smoking, having a healthy diet and exercise, and optimising the management of hypertension, diabetes and hyperlipidemia. The Public Health England Screening and Surveillance Programme, which was updated in 2017, recommends follow-up scans for patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms. And this involves yearly scans for patients with aneurysms that measure 3 to 4.4 cm, which are small aneurysms, and three monthly scans for patients with aneurysms that measure 4.5 to 5.4 cm, and these are medium aneurysms. The NICE guidelines from 2020 recommend elective repair of the aneurysm for patients with any of the following. A symptomatic aneurysm, an aneurysm with a diameter that's growing more than 1 cm per year, or aneurysms with a diameter above 5.5 cm. Elective surgical repair involves inserting an artificial graft into the section of the aorta that's affected by the aneurysm. There are two methods for inserting the graft, either with an open repair, 
via a laparotomy procedure. Or with endovascular aneurysm repair or EVAR, which involves using a stent inserted via the femoral arteries. Regarding driving, gov.uk updated in April 21 advised that patients must inform the DVLA if they have an aneurysm above 6 cm, stop driving if it's above 6.5 cm, and there are stricter rules that apply to drivers of heavy vehicles, for example buses or lorries. Finally, let's talk about a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. The risk of rupture increases with the diameter of the aneurysm, and it's roughly 5% for a 5 cm aneurysm and 40% for an 8 cm aneurysm. A ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm has an extremely high mortality of around 80%. A ruptured aneurysm can present with severe abdominal pain that may radiate to the back or to the groin, hemodynamic instability with hypotension or a low blood pressure and tachycardia which is a high heart rate, a pulsatile and expansile mass in the abdomen, collapse and loss of consciousness. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is a surgical emergency that requires immediate involvement of experienced seniors, vascular surgeons, anaesthetists and theatre teams. Permissive hypotension refers to the strategy of aiming for a lower than normal blood pressure when performing fluid resuscitation in patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms. The theory behind this is that increasing the blood pressure may increase the blood loss into the abdomen. Hemodynamically unstable patients with a suspected abdominal aortic aneurysm should be directly transferred to the theatre. Surgical repair should not be delayed by getting imaging to confirm the diagnosis. A CT angiogram can be used to diagnose or exclude a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm if the patient is hemodynamically stable. In patients with comorbidities that make prognosis with surgery very poor, a discussion needs to be had with senior doctors, the patient and their family about palliative care. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel, thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel, there's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.